Vivian, something to eat and drink, please, if you'd be so kind. Just fruit juice for me. Dragonborn, you want a beer? No, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'll do some juice. Dragonborn! What? Oh, wait, where did he come from? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't have a weapon equipped! Oh, God, where's my weapon? It wasn't equipping when I hit my hotkey. I know, I know! Lock the door, lock the door! Oh, the Morg tongue is not happy. Imagine if, uh... This was Game of Thrones level dark. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Imagine if this was Game of Thrones level dark, and instead of, you know, Rigmore being protected in this situation, if the mod author just said, yeah, they're just gonna pull a red wedding, and they're just gonna stab her in the stomach repeatedly until she dies. Can you imagine? I don't think most people can pull that off. I don't think this could necessarily pull it off. But can you imagine? Well, it wasn't the mute. What do you mean, what happened? The Morig Tongue tried to murder us. What happened? Your emperor is in danger. Honorable writ of execution, Rigmore Morgan Mead and Child, the aforementioned person, has been marked for execution as a member of an unlawful guild of assassins. Wait, has been... She's been marked as a member of an unlawful guild of assassins? Or as an unlawful usurper in accordance with the lawful tradition and practice of the Morag Tong Guild, the bearer of this... Non-disputable document has official sanctioned license to kill the aforementioned personage. What a waste. What do you mean, what a waste? Are you okay? Oh, what happened? What? Yes, yes, we're fine. This is f***ing scary. They were after me. They really are. <gasps> Or my baby! By the gods, not my baby! I'll get Blackwell onto this right away and double the guard in Bruma. No, come back to the Imperial City right now! Who are they? Morg tongue by the look of them. Assassins. Who the hell would send assassins, Dragonborn? Why would they want to harm me or my baby? I can think of a lot of people. You of all people should know the answer to that. Vivian! Well, not her. Definitely not her. I like this guy's armor. Vivian! Is everyone okay? I mean, they weren't after anyone else. Yes, I think so. Mostly. Mostly? What are we going to do now? We're gonna get the hell out of here! Let's get you back to Bruma. Oh, oh Dragonborn. no. Oh no. Oh. Rigmore. Oh no. Uh, Now's not the time for this. Uh, no, is it going to be now, damn it? I'm okay. I'm okay. Give me a moment. It's all right. Probably just the shock. I swear to God, if it's right now. <sighs> okay. Okay. That's better. I'm okay now. Uh huh. You sure? You sure? Rigmore, are you, sh are you sure you're okay to travel? I'm okay now. Let's go. Well, the monkey man is still outside the door. He wasn't the assassin. Can I talk to him? Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. Monkey Man's gone. It's probably a little offensive to call him that, but... I guess I should just call him the Mute. It's 
probably the best thing to do. Dragonborn! Dragonborn! Get me to the keep. Quick. It's nearly time. Oh, no. Need something? Yeah, we need... We need a lot right now. We gotta make sure there's no assassins in the city. We have to make sure Rigor doesn't die during childbirth. Oh my god. Rigor, come on. I, I realize you can't hurry, really. I'm... I shouldn't say hurry. It's nearly time. Okay. Oh, oh just keep walking. Just one foot in front of the other. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be okay. Oh, God. Oh, is this going to be how it ends? Is it just going to end with her giving birth and that's it? Nope, I know. I know. Just a little bit further. We're almost there. Okay. We'll be there before you know it. Get me to the keep. Mm-hmm. Quick. Uh-huh. Quick. I, I, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. We're limited not by me. We're limited by you. Yes. I hope you guys are ready for this. All right, ladies first. We should really have more guards. Uh, oh, 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 uh, oh, oh. Uh, what if I just push you up the stairs? Rigmore. Oh, my baby girl. Quick, let's get Lady Rigmore upstairs. Hurry! Okay. Quick. <sighs> Quick. <sighs> Majesty, court advisor Malisum and Freathoff are meeting with Blackwell at the Citadel. What are your orders? Oh, no. Yes? Uh, give, give everybody on that front door. Wait, oh, get everybody on that front door. No one is to enter or leave. Understood. Janna, Agni, with me. Majesty. Oh, Agni's still talk. here? I'm, wait, no, I'm thinking of someone else. Never mind. What is it? I thought you were on your way to Morrowind. Yeah, I was. Azura sent me here. My mistress insisted I'd be present, not only for the birth, in case it becomes problematic, but to help deliver the baby myself. If need be, as I'm a trained physician. Wait, what? You're a trained physician? Tendril Sethry, thief, disciple, messenger, mage, courier, and now midwife? <laughs> Bear with me. It's all starting to make sense, if you can call it that. I ain't saying the divines aren't going to keep their word. But first, Blackwell has some important intelligence you need to know about. It concerns a contract on Rigmore and the baby. Oh, I'm familiar with it. I know about it. We were attacked at the Roxy Inn by the Morag Tong. They're led by a Tangmo assassin called the Moo. He only shows himself to potential victims out of respect. Usually he's invisible, and he's also a conjurer. Oh, we saw him. Then he's already introduced himself. They will try again. They have no choice. So he could be here? Right now? Not yet. I would feel the vibes. But yes, he's coming. A conjurer of what exactly? Portals. Let's walk. He has the ring of Kajiti and hides until a moment to strike. Then conjures a portal so the Tom can do his bidding. And in this case, as far as Blackwell can tell, it's a grey writ. Special kind for special targets. Once the contract is fulfilled, they erase any evidence of ever being there and leave, taking any casualties with them back to Morrowind. Any reason for that? The writs are illegal in the Empire. Would have caused a big stink for the King of Morrowind back in the day. Rigmore and her baby? They're after the infant, so they must kill Rigmore to get to her. It's all very professional, nothing personal. They fear you, and they want you gone. Rigmore is a way to get to you. 
No baby, no prophecy, and all of Tamriel up for grabs. I mean, I would still be Emperor. Does Blackwell know who made the contract? Or they're gonna have to go through me first. No, I want Blackwell to tell me who has the contract. No, but whoever it was took great care to hire the moot, so whatever he knows dies with him if you're lucky enough to kill him. If you want whoever it was who ordered the contract off your back, you're gonna need to kill the moot. Because if he can't execute the writ, no one else can. Tell me everything you know about him, Sethry. He's a champion of Mafala. Know of her? I'm familiar. I've, uh, dabbled. I've dabbled with Mafala. Yes, I still have the Ebony Blade. Remember I mentioned a while back about those ripples in the void? Well, you're gonna love this. Am I? Mafala gifted the moot the Ring of Kajiti. It renders the wearer invisible. It's not meant to be used for killing or murder, but thieving, burglary and the like. Meridia's pissed and claims the ring belongs to her. She's furious Mafala is allowing the moot to use portals to murder people, using her ring as a cloak, and she wants it back. Mafala gets off on winding her up. They've been at it for centuries. I'll take it you know of Meridia, too. I have dabbled. Once again, yes, I've dabbled. Uh, yes, but let's not get into that right now. Anyway, Azura wants to help Meridia get the ring back and use any portal the moot opens to help Rigmore. She won't be able to enter the mortal plane, but could, if need be, assist. But I have to be present. When Rigmore is in labor, you're gonna need to be there protecting us all. We won't be able to help you. What about the mute? He's invisible, right? That's the beauty of this plan. Once Azura can lay her healing power on Rigmore, he will be forced to show himself. He can't attack you while he is invisible, and he can't return without completing the contract. So you just make sure you fuck him up good and proper. I'll take the ring and give it to Azura. There's a lot going on right now. I thought it was just gonna be as simple as like, yeah, someone wants us dead and we're just gonna figure it out. This is a lot going on. You can count on me, Sethry. You all can. Yeah, well, here, take these in case you need them. What is it? Come on, let's get this show on the road. What did you give me? Oh, sweet. I could use those potions. Oh, no, I heard that. All right, Sethry, you get in there. I'm going to stand outside the room and just pretend Looks like, like nothing's going on. Started. All right. Just hang around and don't whatever you do, leave the room from now on in. All right, you got it. I'm just going to look this way. Not looking down there. Seth, are you all right? Seth, Feeling some Seth, vibes, so get ready. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna look at you, Seth. Three. Gonna check the doors. Anybody? Oh, auto saving. I don't like that. That makes me nervous. Seth, three. What? <laughs> Oh, God, that was loud. Oh, God. That's a lot. That's a lot of assassins. Can you all calm down for two seconds? There's a lot of them. What the hell? Oh, my God. Wait, why is there an orc here? Why didn't we bring guards into this? Alright, hey, you. I see you. I see you. You get away. Oh, what are the assassins in? Oh, god damn it. You get out of there. You can't hang out back there. That is not for you. Come on, wake up. We're losing her, for the love of Asura. Oh no, we're losing her. 
Stay with me, damn it. Also, I'm not wearing armor, so that does not help the situation at all. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I'm waiting for him to draw. It's only honorable that way. There we go. Oh, he's tanky. I'm going to wear my armor of Talos. Or not Talos, uh, Tiber Septum. Same thing. God damn it, get back here, mute. Oh, god damn it. Yep, wearing the armor makes a big difference. You attack so fast, dude. You gotta calm down. Come on, you can do it. What if I had just shouted him into the room that Rick Moore's in? Get ready. No! No! Not my baby. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why isn't she crying? Uh-oh. What's wrong? Oh no. There's something wrong. Oh no. Dragonborn. I'll be right there. Dragonborn, I, th I think something's wrong. Oh, no. She's not crying or, or making any sound. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is dark. Oh, one second. I just want to make sure that I take his stuff. Why? I don't know why. How do I hold her? Oh, there she is. That's a baby. No, I can't see the baby if I do that. Rigmore, she's fine. Everything is gonna be okay. Oh, Dragonborn. It's gonna be so quiet in the Imperial Palace now. It's gonna be loud here. It's gonna be quiet there. Oh. No! Oh, God, that scared me. Oh, that scared me a little bit. Oh, hey, there's Nate. There's me. Love you, Nate. Love you, me. Now is a good time to mention that Rigmore does have a Patreon. Uh, I'm a member of it. I love that I can support mod authors in this community. It's just an incredible thing to do, and it's a way of thanking them for all their hard work and dedication. Rigmore is one of several mod authors that I am a patron for, and I will stay a patron for Rigmore and other 
mod authors for as long as I can. I'm also changing the credit music because, unfortunately, I can't use this music. It's going to be picked up by YouTube, it's copyrighted, I can't use it, so I apologize for that. But I kind of want this video to stay monetized. Hey, don't push me. Don't you dare push me. Thank you again, added. Let's read that real quick. Thank you, thank you for joining me and Rigmore on this journey. I hope you enjoyed this expansion. I had hoped to have included a way of taking Kintyra with you on your travels with a baby carrier. Sadly, this will have to be added later. All of Rigmore's stuff is located in the wardrobe to the left of the bed. Do I just walk around with pregnant? Oh no, you're not. You don't look pregnant anymore. Wait, no, I think you do. Wait, wait. Let's see when she stands up. Oh no, the model changed. Okay, look at that. All right. There is a weird neck seam though. It's probably just from the change in the model. All right. Can I just? Okay, I can just hold the baby whenever I want. Oh, why did I pick you up? You're gonna make noise. Never mind. Nope, it's okay. Just... Oh, God. Why did I wake her? Oh, no. Your problem now, Rigmore. I gotta go back to the Imperial City. Thank you guys for watching Dragon Child, the expansion to the Rigmore of Cyrodiil mod. I think it's safe to say that the next mod in the series, Rigmore or Tamriel, is a while off, probably a couple of years at the very least. I know that right now the mod author is also focused on doing a reboot of the original mod Rigmore Bruma and an overhaul of Rigmore of Cyrodiil as well, just trying to change a few things and improve upon what he's already done. And I think it'll really help to add a little bit of consistency across the mod and a little bit more quality. He's learned a lot since his first mod and I think it'll be really nice to see him applying everything that he has learned in the past couple of years to his original work. Dragon Child was a little bit longer than I expected, and I did enjoy it. I think that the mod had some really cute moments and some really fun dialogue between you and Rigmore. As always, I know a lot of people are not huge fans of some of the writing and everything, and yeah, it's not the most lore-friendly, but the mod author has even said that this isn't necessarily something that is supposed to be taken super seriously. It's fun, it's his passion project, and I can respect that 100%, because I have a lot of fun with it too. But thank you for watching this series on Skyrim Saturday. We will be back next Saturday with a new mod for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.